hello, today I'll be showing you how to download Paperhot from Minecraft 1.2.4. Let's get started. Downloading Fabric. To download Fabric, type in Minecraft Fabric or click one of the links down below. The website we're looking for is fabricnc.net. Once on the website, we're going to go to the download section. Once here, you can click the Windows file or the Universal file. I chose the universal file for the purpose of this video, but you could use whichever one you prefer. Download either or and on to the next step. Downloading Fabric API. On the Fabric website, there is a button to download Fabric API. You can also go to CurseForge to download Fabric API. When you get to the website, talk 1.20.4 and download it. Downloading the CocoCot mod and resource pack. In your search bar, type in cococot.pix or you can go to the link in the description. Once on the website, navigate to the download section. Here you will find the terms of use and then you will download the resource pack, resource pack for mod, and the mod. Downloading Continuity. In your search bar, type in Minecraft Continuity. Here you will find the Curse Forge version and the modern version. Download whichever one you prefer. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to download it on modern. Click on the modern website and you will find the 1.20.4 version. Click on the download button. And you're all set. Installing Fabric. Open up your downloads folder. In your downloads folder, double click on the Fabric Installer. Make sure the version of Fabric is 1.20.4 and then click install. Congratulations, you have successfully downloaded Fabric. Now on to the next step. The .minecraft folder. Open up your downloads folder and everything that you've downloaded on your desktop. After putting each mod on your desktop, open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the Installations tab and click on the File icon which will take you directly to your .minecraft folder. Locate the Resource Pack folder. Once located, put the Resource Packs inside the folder. Now it is time to find the Mods folder. If you don't already have one, name a folder Mods M-O-D-S. Place all the mods inside this folder. Creating the installation and testing out the game. Open up your Minecraft launcher. If the fabric version isn't already selected, go to installations and create a new installation. Click the version and look for 1.20.4 fabric. area to add more RAM to your installation if needed. When you are happy with your selections, click Create. After you're done, click the Play tab and look for your 1.20.4 fabric selection and click Play. Once on the 
starting screen, look for the options section and then look for resource packs. Here you will put Kogakot mod resource pack first and then Kogakot 1.20 second. Now it's time to create a world. Congratulations, you've successfully downloaded the Kogakot mod for 1.20.4. Testing out the mod for myself. For testing out the Kogakot mod, I decided to go with an interior pack. I went back and forth in making this a full apartment just one room. I decided to go with one room, but I was stuck on these moving boxes. They're so aesthetic that I just couldn't pass them up. The goal for this was to be a bedroom and I had someone staying here as they were moving in. I really don't know why there's a bed and a futon. I don't know who's sleeping in this room. Then I was like, you know what? Scratch that. I decided to make this almost like a studio apartment, but it's kind of, I think, small for a studio apartment because there's no kitchen in here, but that's beside the point. Applying the shaders. If you want to play with mods, I use Iris and Sodium, which can be found on the Mod Rinse website. An issue I've encountered is continuity is not compatible with shaders. In my experience, my resource packs didn't load when continuity and shaders were both installed. So all you have to do is take continuity out and Kogakot will still work the same. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks so much for watching. I love you so very much. Stay sweet. Bye.